We have learned by observing Vivek Ramaswamy, the 2024 Republican presidential candidate, that he has a pension for saying one thing. And then later, when he's asked about it, saying, I never said that. And then when it's quoted, he says the quote is out of context. And then when context is given, he says the context is wrong and it's being presented by left wing media or whatever the case may be. The epitome of this took place last night. This is really something I think you're going to enjoy this. Vivek Ramaswamy appeared on Fox News with propagandist Sean Hannity. Now, Sean Hannity makes Vivek look quite bad. But the remarkable thing about this is that Hannity is doing this not in bad faith, but he's doing this cynically. Hannity wants to help Trump. Hannity is buddy buddy with Trump. So everything I'm about to show you here is Sean Hannity trying to help Donald Trump. That all being said, Hannity pretty astutely points out the erratic and contradictory nature of just about everything Vivek Ramaswamy says. First and foremost, here is Vivek Ramaswamy saying, once we get our semiconductors under control, then we bail on Taiwan. And Hannity goes, did you just say that? And Vivek goes, no, I didn't say it. And Hannity goes, you did. You just said it. Check this out. So I'm the only presidential candidate in either party who has had the courage to say that I'm not going to embrace the one China policy, which is the posture of both political parties today, that I'm not going to just adopt strategic ambiguity. We can't afford that. We need to be clear that we will defend Taiwan. That's different from strategic ambiguity now. We have to defend Taiwan until we achieve semiconductor independence, at which point we resume our current posture of strategic ambiguity, which is exactly what the U.S. adopts today. Huh. So, Sean, it's all right, worth so let me reminding use a people that right now the U.S.'s may. position is a one-China policy. Yeah. Let me ask you this. At what point, for example, if Russia wanted to put nuclear weapons uh, 90 miles south of our border in Cuba, we did have a Cuban Missile Crisis, what would your posture be there? In other words, if you're saying as long as Taiwan Dead provides the semiconductor chips, uh, we'll help them, but after that, they're on their own? No. I, it, actually, Sean, and that's again how my position's been caricatured. I will remind you and everybody else I'm not, I'm, I'm, that right you, now the you United States... Saying. I'm listening. <laughs> no, it's not what I'm saying because well, I'll, 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 I'll give it to you very simply. Right now, the United States' policy towards Taiwan is a one China policy. Donald Trump was derided, he was made fun of for daring to pick up a phone call from the Taiwanese president. The United States of America right now does not even recognize Taiwan as a nation. I view it differently. I am clear that we will defend Taiwan. I'm the only politician in either party that has yeah, the until we get our semiconductors under control. In 2028. And then I would resume. Well, I would resume the current position of the United States <laughs> after we've achieved semiconductor independence. OK, so it's basically what Hannity is saying. You know, this is the thing we learned through my interview and others with Vivek. You can give him a quote out of a book he wrote. And he will somehow slip around it and say, well, but, you know, the media and partisanship and misquoting and lack of context and whatever. Hannity confronted Vivek with another one saying, you said aid to Israel should end in 2028. And Vivek says that's false. And Hannity goes, here's a quote. I've got the quote. When you are putting Hannity in this position, you know, you're not making much sense. What were some of the issues, though? You know, you said aid to Israel, our number one ally, only democracy in the region should end in 2028 uh, and that they should be integrated That's with false. their neighbors. I have an exact quote. You want me to read it? That's actually. Yeah, you, I can tell you the exact quote. What I said <laughs> is it would be a mark of success if we ever got to a point in our relationship with Israel, if Israel never needed the United States as aid. And Sean, you know how politics is played. A lot of the other professional politicians who have been threatened by my rise have used that statement to say that I would cut off aid to Israel. All right. Now, whatever you think about aid to Israel, that's not what this is about. This is about the fact that Vivek Ramaswamy with a straight face and very articulately, right? You got to give the guy credit for it. He will just sit straight up say, no, 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 never said it. You've got the quotes. He doesn't care. He'll go on to something tangential. Hannity goes back and says, well, you said Israel shouldn't have preferential treatment. That's a quote. And he goes, well, those are direct quotes from the fake news media. But, but so are they direct quotes or not, Vivek? Travel to Israel. I have business partners in Israel. The reality is this. 
By the end of my first term, our relationship with Israel will be stronger than it ever has been because I will treat it as a true friendship, ah. not just a transactional relationship. And why did you say I that they should not have preferential Abraham. treatment? Why did you say that Israel should not have preferential not. treatment from us? That's a direct quote. Sean, I, I, I understand. No, those are direct quotes from headlines summarized by opposition research fed to the fake news media. <laughs> so so are, are they direct quotes or not? It's a very specific kind of direct quote. The reality is, here's what I'm you saying. Say is that, but Abraham you... Accords 2.0 is my top priority. Ah, Abraham Accords only... 2.0 is my top priority, which is to get Saudi Arabia, Oman, Qatar into that pact with Israel. And foremost, to have a partnership with Israel that does something really important for the U.S., which is to make sure that Iran never, ever, ever has nuclear capabilities. That's important <laughs> to the United States. Notice that he's moved on to something different here. And this is he's he really is very slick. You got to give the guy credit. It's, and the other thing I've said, Sean, is that Israel's our friend. Good friends learn from each other. Uh. I would love Israel's border policies in this country. I would love Israel's tough on crime policies and strong national identity in this country. I would love an iron dome like Israel has to defend itself against Hamas, which is a good thing for Israel. I want something like that here in the United States. So I don't read from the traditional GOP talk. All right. So he just goes on to filibuster more. And then just one more clip here in this one. Ramaswamy says, you know, our actions might be actually pushing Russia closer to China. And I have to tell you, Hannity rightly points out, no, but that that's already something that is happening. It's not about our Ukraine policy. Sean, there's also a deeper point, which is that I worry we are now driving Russia closer into China's arms and They're the Russia there. China alliance is the no. single greatest threat that we face. And that's what I really worry about. It's and already I think that there. If there's an it's Russia, China and Iran. Well, a new exactly. axis of evil is formed. So the question is, I, I and I want to weaken countries it. in the and I want to weaken, weaken it too, um, and I'd love to see that happen. Yes. Yeah, and and Vivek has said that he would, I guess, weaken it by giving parts of Ukraine to Putin, and then going and visiting Putin. So this is less about the issues. You could look at some of what Ramaswamy is saying here, right? And remember, it's like pick and choose because the taking every position on every issue it lets you just say, well, I liked what he said on this day, but not so much on that day. This is less about what we actually you know there are elements of what Ramaswamy says where his most recent statement isn't crazy and many of them that are crazy okay this is about the fact that he is doing an incredible job and praise to him to the extent that it helps him he is doing an incredible job of with a straight face just denying his own quotes he's increasingly being presented with his own quotes and he just talks about something else. He's talked about, well, you said this on Israel. He says, I would love to have an Iron Dome. It's not really the question. It's not what Hannity's pointing out. And so Hannity doing a fine job, although it is a difficult job for sure, of pointing out that Vivek just slips out and denies his own quotes. It's an incredible ability to be able to do it with a straight face. Is it going to work in some sense? I guess. I mean, he's up a little bit since the debate. We'll see how he does in the second debate. We'll see what sort of media attention he gets. He's definitely getting a lot more media attention since that debate performance. Will Republican voters realize he just takes every side of every issue sort of like Trump did in 2016? I don't know. I don't know that that's something the Republican electorate really pays attention to. Are they even going to be interested in the Ramaswamy presidency beyond seven to 10 percent? That remains to be seen. But Add a boy to Sean Hannity to the extent that he at least attempted to keep this all under control. We'll have these clips on our Instagram, on our TikTok, and of course on our YouTube channel. So summertime is in full swing. It's hot. It's humid. When you get sweaty, many of us know all too well what it means when you wear traditional underwear. It's the sticking, rubbing and chafing. It is not pleasant. That's why our sponsor Sheath Underwear has been a game changer for so many people. Sheath Underwear is ergonomically designed with a pouch in the front. Keep everything comfortable and separate. When you wear the sheath underwear, everything stays dry and cool. Instead of sticking together, you feel the air flowing. It's great. It's really something you have to try to understand. This has been my go to underwear for years, all year round, but especially when it's hot outside. The humidity is bonkers. They have plenty of different colors and styles, something for everybody and the sticking and the readjusting. 
Experience underwear comfort like you have never felt before. Try sheath. Go to sheathunderwear.com slash Pacman and use the code Pacman for 20% off. That's S H E A T H underwear.com slash and use the code Pacman for 20% off. The info is in the podcast notes. Okay, that seems like an error, so I'm going to redo it one more time. That's S H E A T H underwear.com slash Pacman. Use the code Pacman for 20% off. The link is in the podcast notes.